your first Miami-based international soccer podcast. We'll be covering all the highlights of European and major soccer leagues, discuss your favorite teams and player actualities, hot topics, and exclusive transfer scoops. We'll have former players, analysts, that will be joining us to discuss the latest topics in the soccer world. Let's go. Let's go. We're Make back. sure to subscribe, obviously. Yes, we'll sir. Make sure you yes, like sir. and subscribe. <laughs> and we're back today with episode two. And we have Jose Lu back with us in, in back, the gang back. today. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome, Jose Lu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So a little fast introduction. Here we have <laughs> Mauri and Zico, former soccer players from Morocco, and Jose Lu, a soccer enthusiast, and myself, Valentina, form, well, current soccer owner, soccer club owner here in Miami. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. So a lot of soccer happened this weekend. Uh, a lot of international, uh, with, with the international break. Yep. Uh, starting Friday, we had one of the big, big uh, fixtures was... Yeah, yeah. Well, you had actually given some predictions, though. No? Let's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it started let's Thursday, how... actually, all the games. You know, we had yeah. the argentina Panama on Thursday, and we had mm -hmm. some predictions. So was it... Um, did you, remember did you predict Argentina Panama or no? I think we just said that Argentina was going to win, and, that's and well, that, that happened. So yeah. <laughs> I think we're, we're in good terms. We um, we had Uruguay, Uruguay Japan. Japan. I uh, said I said I was thinking Japan is going to win, but uh, <laughs> they were uh, close. But uh, nobody was right in that prediction. <laughs> actually, <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> we had what you said uh, two zero for Japan. No, I said uh, two one for Japan. Two one for Japan. You said two zero Uruguay. Yeah. I said two zero Uruguay, I, and right. I said one zero Uruguay. Gol de Valverde. Marco el, el Marco Valverde. Marco Valverde. Um, <laughs> France, 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 England. <coughs> France, England? No. That's for the qualifiers. We'll get to that. Um, well, no, the, the big games, the big games for the friendly, for the friendlies were that obviously uh, Uruguay, Japan that we spoke about. And well, we have Colombia. here. Yeah, we have Jose Luis, who's Colombian. With Colombia. The so return of James. We were saying yeah, last yeah. time. We were saying last time. I heard, Colombia I heard you guys said uh, horrible, worst. <laughs> no, worst, <laughs> worst Colombian squad in history. No, no, no. no Not who, at all. Who, who's, Not I mean, at all. What, what squad was worse than this one? <laughs> no, now we have a good few players in Colombia. We have, yeah, yeah. Uh, bueno, James is back after Luis being injured Diaz. for like I three. Saw Luis Luis Diaz, Diaz, yeah. uh, there's only Luis Diaz, guys. Uh, Caracal. Yeah. But Luis Diaz is out. Yeah, he's out. He's supposed to be coming back shortly. Yeah. Um. But, I mean, I think for Colombia, you know, most of the players are in, in big European teams or middle teams of, mm -hmm. you know, um, Europea. But, um, I mean, you know, we'll make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> They're missing, like, a big striker, I yeah. think, like a, like a James Rodriguez when he was playing for yeah. Real and a player well, we, that's... We have Borre, Santos Borre, but, I mean... But Real, no? Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> they're laughing at Ay, you know, yeah. they But, uh, you know, we have Santos Borre, which, you know, uh, last um, uh, European, you know, last season, he did good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, big part for <laughs> for uh, Frankfurt. <laughs> but, uh, I told um, you guys, you just wake up and you go to this. So like, oh, my God. Ay, ay. <laughs> First day of Ramadan, second day. Yeah. So, Ramadan, so Luis Diaz, yeah. uh, um, James, yeah. uh, Yeremina. Uh, but I mean, most most of the you know are starting eleven. They play mm -hmm. in um, you know big teams. So yeah. I just think you know, um, I mean, especially with Hamas, I think it happens a little bit with you know it happens with Argentina. You know, give him the ball, let him mm -hmm. you know make it. And I think they're expecting you know more from him than yeah. than yeah. what they should. Absolutely, uh, because they have great individual players. I think they just gotta yeah. you know work as a team and you know make it happen. Aside from that, I mean, we should make it. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, before we move forward into, of course, the game that you guys want to talk about, I want to talk a little bit about the Argentina-Panama uh, game. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys had a chance to watch it. Did you watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what's, up, no, what's up with the goalkeeper from Panama? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he did an, an incredible job yeah. playing against the champions of the world mm -hmm. in Argentina also that, that carries some weight. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I haven't seen him play before, um, and I searched it up, and he doesn't play in any big team or anything, and I thought he has a lot of potential. Mm. Maybe we should sign him to a PTC then. Uh, maybe. Yeah. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think when, when, when you face, you know, Messi and Argentina especially. Te da una motivación extra. Yeah. Yeah. Monumental, yeah. Um, you know, I think it's just. El partido the, the, the the Yeah, the sí, action of, 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 you know, you as a keeper, where is he going to go? Right, left? You mm -hmm. know, should I move first? Or <laughs> it's just, you know, it's, it's the pressure it gets and, you know. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, Amazing. it was an, an, ex uh, an estimated result, but yeah. I was quite <laughs> impressed with the performance of the keeper for that mm -hmm. game. Uh, well, Messi, uh, Messi, oh, yeah. uh, Messi, Golazo, yeah. uh, and the other goal, ¿quién fue? 
eh, Almada, Tiago. Sí. Um, he he plays he for, plays, um, uh, I think, I believe, uh, Alana. Here in the mm. MLS. Oh, okay. Ah, he plays yeah, in the MLS? Yeah, yeah. Scored after the World Cup. Amazing goals. Oh, really? Amazing. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, yeah, so. being the champion of the world definitely <clears throat> has a motivation. Yeah. I think everybody <laughs> from Argentina is playing, you know. Of course. Really hard, yeah. 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 They have to. There's a lot of weight also in being the world champion. That's for sure. Uh, and also my favorite game uh, during the friendlies was, of course, Morocco Brazil. Qué <laughs> 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 partidazo que hicieron. Partidazo. No? Yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. I think I think this game was just the confirmation of what we've seen in the during uh, the World yeah. Cup. You know, a um, lot of lot of people uh, after what happened in the Mo in the World Cup on Morocco did they were saying, oh maybe it was a, a one time wonder. I would say you know and uh, a swear the chance yeah. or something like that. And people were really waiting for this game to kind of uh, see if Morocco would consolidate mm -hmm. that image and that and that level that they were showing during the World Cup and it and. And they did. I predicted. Totally I predicted the game, right? You did. You did. Yeah. I really yeah. believe in that team. And the it's spirit, a team to believe in. Um, not only the spirit, the talent, uh, the mixture between you know uh, p uh, players who've been there for a couple of for a couple of years now, veterans and, and new players, new rookies who are just mm -hmm. you know uh, uh, booming in, in in European leagues. And they brought them. The whole mixture is amazing. With the coach, uh, he's a Moroccan player who used to play in Spain. Jugó por el Racing de Santander, jugó en oh. Francia también y todo. Entonces, um, you can see Joven, that. he's close to the players, so they created the family spirit. And there is level. The team is, is really There's good. Level. I think they're uh, easy, There's easy. Such a easy. big defense. The defensive players. Yeah. The, defensive the players. Is amazing. Um, that was amazing. Midfield, uh, Unahi, the guy who plays for uh, Marseille, who just um, after the World Cup, Marseille bought him. A crazy level in the midfield. Mm -hmm. uh, they had the 18 years uh, guy uh, who, who just started for the first time. I can lose. Uh, Omar Avia, uh, Bufal, El Lo Suyo, uh, Ziyech. All so, of them. So, so, yeah. I have to say, at the, by the end of the game, that Brazil started to pressure uh, qu quite hard. I was scared. I was yeah, like, I know Brazil, pulling but, a Brazil, you know, because mm -hmm. they always do that in the last minute they go and score like three goals out of nowhere and I was super scared for Mor Morocco but I'm very proud that how you guys they, got the yeah, win they, yeah. how they, um, and the way they played yeah they digested that pressure mm -hmm. from Brazil and they you know they, they it was the Brazil most dangerous moments of the game and they let them um, you know they, they, they bounced back from it mm -hmm. uh, now and Morocco I think easy uh, top four national teams in the world. Bueno, bueno. bueno. No, no, bueno. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, bueno. <laughs> what is that? Like, okay, give, give me, me stats. Give me another. No, I give you stats. No, give me another game. Another game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Another game. Give me one more game. Give me one more game. I give you stats. Okay, I give great, you stats. Great. Morocco, semifinalista del mundial. Okay. Semifinals mundial. Okay. okay. Who, top four. Okay. Who are in the semifinals at the, at the mundial? Top fours. So that's top four. Okay. Following game, who we play? Brazil. You know Brazil? Brazil is like number one. On the FIFA ranking right now, is the best national is soccer Argentina? team. But he didn't no. make it to the final. No, Brazil. <laughs> okay. So we beat Brazil right yeah. away. Uh, any team you bring us right now? Hopefully. And no, the, I, I see. Who, I see. When good is things the next for... team? They play in Peru. 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 Peru? Peru? Just like a, a warm up. No, I don't know. Warm -up. <laughs> Peru just a warm up for Morocco. <laughs> I hope it doesn't happen. You know, like Brazil, for example, when they play uh, tougher teams, uh, they become bigger. Uh, sometimes and when they I play smaller uh, teams, I they become know. smaller. I, really don't know. Uh, I hope that you guys don't have that. And when you play Peru, you go with the same <coughs> team that play Brazil. And if I you have to win 10-0, win 10-0. It's going to be a tough game with Peru. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't could. think it's going to be easy. Yeah. It's not What's your prediction? Be, What's your, your prediction? prediction for Peru? 2-0 um, Morocco. For Peru, I think. Yeah, 3-0 three, three Morocco. 3-0 Morocco. Three zero. Okay. Jose? Um, I gotta go with Morocco. I mean, I'll, I'll give it to him. Great team. Uh, 2-0. 2-0? Two 2-0, zero. Two zero? Two zero, yeah. Uh, one zero Morocco. Okay. Well, this time <laughs> I could have played Devil's Advocate. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know about uh, yeah. Peru winning that. I haven't seen much just, of them. Just so. give a little... A little Wait, are you guys really like, serious right now? You yeah, thought Peru has a chance against Morocco? No, no, uh, I just said... Do you guys remember who we played this last five months? No, 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 uh, no I do not no, think. Not that. France, I Spain, said one zero Portugal. Morocco. I said one zero no, no, Morocco. No, but this is the thing as Who well, is? I believe. Alex, you, they you, tripping, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you guys had a home court advantage, you know how they say. Um, so it was like Morocco. basically yeah, playing playing Morocco. At home. Argentina and Morocco were like, if, you know, mm -hmm. whichever stadium they were, they were in the country. That stadium was beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank thank you. Yeah, yeah, I thank love you. that stadium. Guys, I want to run that welcome track. to go visit Morocco in the next years and you will see 
we will have the most amazing stadiums so. in in the in the um, I wouldn't say the Middle East and North Africa area because I think people in the Middle East are a little bit ahead, but in Europe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think so. People, too. I think we're like gonna Morocco, hear Morocco. The 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 and football, Moroccan players. Football politic right now is is really um, one of the priorities for for the for the That's for, what the, I was for, the, talk about, for yeah. the country. Mm -hmm. And I will let you talk more about it. Yeah, and then, and then it, Morocco is, is it's a country that breeds soccer. It's like it's the Brazil of Africa. You know, mm -hmm. growing up and all that. It's soccer is a big 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 thing there so now they put in more focus and giving those players the confidence and the youth the confidence is hey if you put in the work and 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 you're serious about this i mean you can really make it you happen. can make yeah. it happen yeah and yeah i agree yeah and and we see and we saw that now and then we have this new big generation of, of of players that's that's you know that he he called up for for the brazil game guys are like 18 19 mm -hmm cracks you know from Bar playing in barcelona big and they all want to play for morocco yeah, and yeah. you both played uh, in in morocco when you were younger mm -hmm. growing up what's the difference that you see then and now with all this uh, like soccer culture that has been growing so much since mm -hmm. okay so definitely there is a couple of, uh, of of things that has changed uh, uh i think the exposure is now uh, uh completely different you know uh, uh, uh even from personal experiences or from people we know also <coughs> who were playing with us we know some players that can like that there is we still question how they didn't make it and how they're not professional <laughs> right, right now the exposure is different now you can easily see yeah, a, now. A, a, a player in morocco who will start in the <coughs> national league do a couple of years in the national league and then from there go to uh, uh to europe which mm -hmm. was very very rare uh, uh yeah and super year. competitive as so well the mm -hmm. exposure the mentality changed as well i think morocco is a country and as a country and with social media explosion and all that mm -hmm. they 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 get more open into into uh towards uh, uh western cultures and you know um so people start dreaming bigger and they start witnessing that witnessing some success stories they related to so okay they mm -hmm. saw some players they start really playing in morocco yeah. with them in moroccan like national uh, uh clubs mm -hmm. and then they end up in big teams in right. europe and, and yeah then we played when we started was in 2006 era and then the big 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 transition or difference that happened is the king taking on the responsibility and wanting to push this into the next level and he started an academy in 2009 that academy has produced so many great talent it's the it's the, um, it's, uh, the best soccer academy formation mm -hmm. in in africa right. and one of the top five in even including europe as well yeah you oh, have wow. in, in yeah. amazing yeah. amazing yeah. i didn't know that yeah, that's, yeah. That's in, in this year cool. in this year was was an academy graduate I grad, I grad. 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 west ham yeah the defender he's he he, he was uh, there at some point as well um big players uh it's it's right now there is they even have uh, signed partnerships with with um, big european clubs so they can just you know um, facilitate the players exchange and players from the academy without even making the um, trumpling with the um, moroccan national league they go straight yeah. to uh, to europe yeah they so, even yeah. have a, a women's team now that's actually quite competitive mm -hmm. and moroccan uh, women's team yeah you will see what they're gonna do in the world cup yeah exactly <laughs> <You're gonna laughs> no for sure for, they're uh, ready and talking yeah, about yeah. the world cup um they just announced that in 2027, the payouts for women and men during World Cups are going to be the same. Whoa, 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 it's amazing. Whoa, 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 Congratulations to sports. Right, right, right. And this year, for well, the World Cup of, uh, of now, 2023, it's already at 100 mil 150 million, which is 300% more than in 2019. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's still not compared to the men's, which yeah. was 440 million, but it's one step closer to you know to equal equality. pay and everything. And I think it's that's that incentive uh, for the next World Cup in 2027 for women, Moroccan team and all the teams is going to be Amazing. off the charts. It's going to be Perfect. really, really good, nice. great and, sports. And even it's getting um, it's getting uh, um, more common now for uh, soccer players, women mm -hmm. from uh, third world countries, yeah. Africa uh, or, or uh, Latam. Latin America to go to European clubs. You know? Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's a lot of players in Argentina, for example, and Brazil who are playing all over Europe and here yeah. in MLS as well. Real Madrid, yeah. they just signed the, the Colombian Yeah, Linda, Linda Caicedo, 18 years old. Yeah, yeah. So mm. Directly the, from a Colombian club. Yeah, yeah, there, directly. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, um, you know, they also have some other Colombian players. Uh, Atletico Madrid has the, a Yeah, oh, Atletico really? has a bunch of Colombian yeah, yeah. and Venezuelan players yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Great. So, nice. Atleti. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the Atleti. Um, they play the Clásico, the women's, uh, yeah. for La Liga, Barça Real. Barça Real. Mm. Uh, and, bueno, Barça 1-1-0 one, one, with a... Um... Jose, ¿quieres hablar del penalti? Sí. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lo mismo que pasa en los hombres. Same, same. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it was a, it was a fair penalty. 
I think she she definitely grabs her from the side, and you know, of course, yeah. of course, you have to yeah. play I mean, the we, part. We, yeah, but... we were debating this before. I mean, I think you know, it's just a, a soft penalty. Yeah. She says she grabs her. I believe she, you know, puts the arm around her. <laughs> not much, not much contact, but at the uh, end of the day. Mucho mimo, no, it was too much. It was too I mean, much. at the end of the day, it's, you know, even though, the, you know, it's a penalty, you got to make it. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, it is yeah. what and it is. And they did, and um, it was the... Um, how did la, la Colombia? La Sueca, bien, Rof, uh, Rolfo, that the, scored. scored. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She scored? Uh, no, la no, de no. penalty. No, la de Barça. La de ah, Barça, okay. la de penalty, penalty. yeah. Mm. Sí, sí. Ah, okay, okay. Um, no, the, the, the game was fun. Like, yeah. it was a good game. Well, Barca, I mean, Real has never been able to beat Barca in any confrontation, even before, like, El Real had a Real that it was yeah. called the Tacones. Mm -hmm. um, they couldn't beat Barca. But because so. the Real Madrid women's team is pretty, pretty new. Pretty it's new. newer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah, 2019. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's the first time that we see oh, it. Yeah. But, bueno, a Clásico is a Clásico. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> right. So, so hopefully it's they get it up, next time. <laughs> All right, so what else we have on the international break, Valentina? We so, had uh, Portugal. Yeah, Portugal. Uh, no, well, that's an international break. So Portugal, no, we... Portugal is UEFA, uh, UEFA qualifiers. Yeah. We go to UEFA oh, yeah. qualifiers no, Let's talk now. about Portugal. Let's talk about Portugal <laughs> and see si, Cristiano. I, I'm amazed like he, him saying how, you know, he was going to play again uh, for Portugal. Typical Cristiano. Typical Cristiano. Like, yeah. you know, Superación, like, okay, yeah. exactly. Cuando todo el mundo te da por muerte y luego... And he goes and performs Resurges, two games know? back to back, yeah. scoring four goals in yeah. four dates. <coughs> Amazing. Amazing. He yeah. might even come back to Europe. Uh, he still have yeah. like yeah, four he, seasons at the highest level because athletically he's 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 there. Oh, he's yeah. so much he's, better than I many. There's yeah. no one closer to him. So no if one. there is one player, you know, you see Ibrahimovic. Uh, Ibrahimovic has a crazy um, uh, work and life ethic. That's why he's at 41. He's still, you know. Yeah, uh, I know. I saw that too. That's ama Pero amazing. But Ibrahimovic has had major injuries in his, during his career. Mm -hmm. Cristiano didn't. He hasn't had any, like, one major, like any. One, or two, no? one or two. He had one um, uh, with uh, Portugal before the World Cup, 2010 mm -hmm. World Cup, and, and that one was pretty bad. It was even, even like uh, uh, kind of uh, putting in his career in danger. Mm -hmm. And he had one his first season with Madrid. Okay. He was out two months. Uh, if you, you guys remember Nyong mm -hmm. from Marseille, he really like assassinated him on, on, on one tackle mm -hmm. and the guy was out <laughs> and the guy was out for uh, for two months but two besides months. that yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah he had an amazing career career and still, uh, i think what happened with ronaldo was is you know he had a lot of personal things going on it definitely yeah um, during the world right. cup absolutely and world cup family mm -hmm. you know and like political yeah, there's some political stuff involved as well and and you know uh, uh, everybody kind of uh, turned his his back to him and yeah. uh, uh it, he, it's he not was, easy to be that great exactly you know? it's not easy to be that great and when you're at the peak you're you're uh, solo you're alone you yeah. know mm -hmm. and uh, uh easier it's easier for for for, for people to to uh, look at look up to you and then criticize you then uh, you know when you're um down below yeah down yeah. below so <clears throat> He and he agreed. He did. Um, he did. Um, I think a declaration where he said that uh, uh, it was a bad time in his life. Uh, yeah. He no. had a lot of problems. Yeah. He, he mentally, emotionally, and you know, even professionally, like with his football, he wasn't at his peak. He, it, right. Eso pasa a todo mm -hmm. el mundo. Mm -hmm. Ahora there is some players who really like they let that kind of finish them and and they let that get into their mind. Oh, I'm 38 years old now. Like I failed that. My second season in Manchester, I played with Portugal, so it's over. Or there's some other players who like who believe in themselves. They know who they are. They know what they did, and they know what they're able to. And we all know who he yeah, is yeah, and yeah, what yeah, he's able to. And he showed us Hi, in two games. Done. It's done. Yeah, and then it, started, it all started when he lost his kid, right? And then, yeah. And yeah. Then, and then well, at Manchester, turned his back on him. And Manchester then Ten, City, Hag, you know? Ten Hag was, was just like a, a piece yeah. that... That, you know, he showed Piece them a lot of shit. Of <laughs> <laughs> bueno, bueno, bueno. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, Can we beat that out? <laughs> regarding, regarding how to deal with a star like Cristiano, yeah. you know, yeah. like you can't just like. No respect. This, this respect. Respect. Yeah. respect. I think yeah. it goes beyond, yeah. like it doesn't matter which player, like he was going through a very yeah. challenging okay, time. Yeah. Going to Valentina. And it doesn't matter who you are, you have to Definitely. be treated with respect. But for Definitely. someone like, yeah, for someone like Ten Hag to disrespect him like that, it's, it's just a no like, no. Like, he doesn't know. Who's Ten Hag? Like, who's Ten Hag for real? Compared to Ronaldo. Compared to Ronaldo, exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. You know? and, and, and and he got to a point <laughs> where it was it wasn't even footballistic. Mm -hmm. Like Chen Hag, he sends Cristiano to warm up against Tottenham while there is two minutes left. 
or against Chelsea, I don't know, that game. Like, yeah. ¿Por qué it was, per, it was so? personal, yeah. It was That's trying like, to like, disrespect. Yeah, it was like an ego yeah. confrontation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. Cristiano, if he has that ego and, and, and that aura and that, that charisma and that, uh, obviously, you know, he has that name and uh, he has his everything that he achieved. Probably uh, for a lot of people, the best soccer player in history mm -hmm. among them, you know? Yeah. Uh, so he can... You, you can't treat him like other players. You cannot. No, you cannot. You and cannot. And and if you want to get the best out of Cristiano, out of him, mm -hmm. you need to uh, uh, put him in his in his conditions. That's what Ancelotti did. Mm -hmm. That's what Zizou, Zidane at Madrid mm -hmm. did. That's what Mourinho. Sir Alex Ferguson, Mourinho, even Mourinho. You yeah. know, Mourinho, uh, you compare Ten Hag to Mourinho character-wise, Ten mm -hmm. Hag is a Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, no, for real. But, you know, yeah. uh, uh, he, he knew how to deal with him. I know that. So, uh, yeah, I think it was more personal. And that influenced a lot because Ten Hag, he uh, used his kind of uh, relationship with Ronaldo to cover up his bad performances mm -hmm. last year with Manchester. Well, when you talk <coughs> numbers, Cristiano is, was, was elected the, the, the best player at Manu last year. I was, I was saying yeah. he had the same yeah. numbers as Rashford yeah. last right. season. Last right. season. That Rashford is having and, this season. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he was the top scorer of United the Premier League last year. But you know what Ten Hag had in favor was he was still winning. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. You can't it didn't really matter, say anything because yeah. you know. And now if he was losing, they'll be like, you know, they'll be. I think they'll be on uh, Cristiano's side. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah but he was winning exactly. Yeah. So yeah, he so. was winning. He used that against 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 Cristiano, and he used that to get the fans close yeah. to him and 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 uh, and. Uh, and um, the the media also Cristiano the Piers Morgan uh, yeah, interview, interview he did kind of blew up everything <laughs> because well uh, I think he he, was, he, was he, went, he intentionally he went, went on that interview yeah, to finish things up yeah, 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 yeah. he went against yeah the club, I mean, against big, he, he wanted to give his yeah. like give his input talk to the world. You know, and then. And I think he had to have that um, moment too. With us, yeah. you know, it was a relief moment for him. And right. And it was a moment for like us, all the watchers too. That you know, that I think we all needed as well. Yeah. We all were kind of like shocked with everything that had well, happened, yeah, and we, we wanted, needed yeah, that closure. So yeah, wanted to know he what, played yeah. it for us as well. There is also political things that got involved, and 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 mm -hmm. that's why all the story uh, uncovered like that. That's why I, I mean, he wasn't even playing for Portugal at the World Cup. You know, and uh, yeah. he went to Saudi Arabia and all that's coming. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, big, yeah. big, big weekend for Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. Keep Two going. <laughs> Don. 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 Okay, uh, what else we got? Another game. really interesting game that I, that I saw that I thought it was cool was Italy England um, mm. with that red card yeah. for sure, and, and then uh, you know the goal, the goal from Kane. No, no, Harry no, Kane made the record. Uh, He's England the... Ukraine. No, 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 no. England no, Italy, Italy last weekend. Last oh, last week. weekend? On Saturday. Uh, last weekend, yeah, or yeah. during the week it was. Yeah, yeah during, during the week. week. It was during the week. week. I, don't, yeah. I remember what day, but... 2-0, okay. Harry Kane uh, is the... No, 1-2. Uh, one, one, it was Italy one goal. And, and two, yeah. Sorry. And two, England, yeah. And Harry Kane is the... Um, scored, and yes, he's now Kane. the uh, highest top mm -hmm. scorer in, in... England in, history. Yeah. Wow. Harry Kane. Like, yeah. without noise. He doesn't make See, a lot of noise, without Harry noise. Kane, he's But there. he's doing his thing, you know? One, one day at a time. I like that game. Um, and, and they played again Ukraine. 2-0 mm -hmm. uh, today. Yeah. today. Two zero. What a goal from Bakayo Saka. Oh, la, yeah. la, 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 la. Bakayo Saka, I think, Jose, uh, I don't know if you agree with me on this, but <laughs> he's the MVP of the Premier League until now. No Highland, no, don't pull up with me on no Highland, no... Uh, I rather have Mi mixed out on that. <laughs> what? Mixed out on that, yeah. Oh, mixed out on that. Yeah, yeah. I so mean, yeah. which one do you like more? <clears throat> uh, Martinelli. Martinelli. Yeah. Martinelli. Oh, nice. 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 yeah. I expected. Yeah. I was very like <laughs> Haaland. <laughs> Jose Luis Martinelli. <laughs> no, I mean because because he's saying Saka. So yeah. I mean I think it's just within the same team. I don't think he's standing out as much oh, really? as I, think, I believe uh, so. I, I mean personally, I, I don't. Okay. You know. You, yes, it? Saka or Bakayo Saka? Who do you think MVP of the Premier League? Premier League? Haaland, Saka? Haaland. I mean, well, I mean, I mean it has to be only one. one. No, are you saying in regards to goals? I mean, no, no to in, in regards to performance. Performance and I influence. Think Martine Martinelli. Influence, guys. Saka, he's, he's 21, I think. And he's he's been. I mean, we got to get all the guys. All the guys. All the guys. Arsenal, they have that chemistry up front. Like, they, 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 they're very, very good. So who you know, do you think is the good. MVP of the Premier League until I mean, now? Uh, uh, until now, 
I mean, you know, as as as, with me. as 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 of someone who makes a difference, I'll go with Holland. <laughs> Thank you. Know? you. <laughs> and we we but, last week we saw those. But goals. as a team, you know, like You're as a team. Thinking about somebody from Arsenal. Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> but as as a as like a. Like you can a, say Tottenham, okay. Yeah. Let's see you give it to yeah, Tottenham. 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 Okay. Tottenham. Speaking okay. of Tottenham, they they part ways with Conte. Yeah. Ah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and that will bring us a nice, <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little, little drama. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you okay? Let's finish up with, you know, the European qualification. Uh, that's we we can move. Yeah, no, go there's there not much more. Like aside from that, well, Belgium beat it. Sweden also three, uh, three zero. Uh, Lukaku. Great player. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> Lukaku, yes. Bueno, correct, correct. Said, Look, I, I was like, okay, Lukaku. <laughs> Lukaku, Lukaku, Lukaku. So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Valentino, Valentino, all the way. And then we also had uh, Kazakhstan, Denmark. What a game. Ah, yes. So Denmark was winning 2 0, and their Kazakhstan <laughs> <laughs> remutada. Yeah. It was a crazy game. 73, 86, and 89. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And crazy yeah. goal. And, and a team that you don't expect also yeah. to like p- pull off like that. Like uh, three goals like that in the last minute. Like, and Denmark are strong. Yeah. Denmark is, Denmark is a, a strong team, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a, like a World Cup team, you know. And Kazakhstan, they have like, spirits. Yeah. <laughs> I like they Kazakhstan. don't. I, I, I have I, some good memories with some Kazakh. I never put it, uh, a no, speaker in that. an album from Kazakhstan. <laughs> you played it? You played you play <laughs> against Kazakhstan? I played like some very like oh, hated nice. games, yeah. Nice. <laughs> like, against Kazakhs, yeah. They like, they have this. Like, like club level? <laughs> like club level, right? International yeah. level. International. Like club level, right? <laughs> club level, I would say, more they were like uh, <laughs> they are, uh, professional they... players abroad. And then he, okay. he, went, yeah, he went to watch this game in Dubai, you know, because <laughs> I was doing some scouting in <laughs> Dubai. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. For some Kazakhs and stuff. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They emerged now. More, more to come, more to come on the subject. <laughs> 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 well, we got Valentino. Valentina. Um, for the international break, the rest of the games, um, I mean, for the UEFA, the rest of the games, uh, I mean, we're just getting started. We're like week yeah, one, first, yeah, uh, yeah. F- first phase of the first group. Couple games, yeah. We have so much to go. I'm sure we'll continue to talk about it Sp- way more uh, throughout the season. Jose, you want to talk Spain, Norway? Espana? Norway? Ho- bueno. Jose Lu, <laughs> he Jose scored, Lu, yeah, yeah. scored in 83 <laughs> and, and, 80, and 85. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so. It's, a, it's a good start for them. New coach. Um, you know, brought in some players that obviously there was, you know, certain talk during the World Cup that, you know, they should have been included in the in the list. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's just great players overall in Spain. So, I just think, you know, getting them together, Nacho. Yeah, yeah Nacho, uh, Nacho, uh, Nacho, uh, Nacho uh, se va a recordar uh, eso de Nacho mucho tiempo. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, like, yeah, how, how Luis Enrique, and that's what we're talking about, again, like, sometimes the coaches, they, they bring uh, They got some players, and, they got their players. Nah, they personal, yeah, they got their players. personal mm-hmm. conflicts into the games. How you have Nacho... They got Nacho, favoritos. Yeah. See, how you have Nacho... You know, like, Evas al Mundial. You don't take Nacho to the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, and yeah, who you take? A big mistake. Eric Garcia? Eric Garcia, <laughs> What yeah. the fuck? Eric Garcia, bro? <laughs> and, uh, From Barca? No, no Ramos. No, I mean, yeah. Eric Ramos, Garci- I understand. Bro, Eric Nacho, Garcia, bro, like, yeah. Eric Garcia. Uh, Nacho, top level now. Nile yeah. MLS tiene que jugar Eric Garcia, yeah. bro. I'm sorry, yeah. bro, but Eric, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I mean, for the <laughs> and you, and you take. These guys are not easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, but it's true. I mean, every time that he's yeah. gotten with, you know, on Barcelona, I mean, crazy mistakes, uh, bad errors, just yeah. you know, a player that I don't think has the confidence. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know, also he took on Sufati, didn't put him to play. Yeah. Um, he's still not playing with Barcelona as much, so it's like you know, you know about that. Bring somebody else, you know, somebody I could, you know, really... Yeah, Ansu Fati. I mean, you know, lo siguen intentando con Ansu Fati en el Barça y, y uh, yeah. con España. I think he needs he needs to take a step back. No, or, or, or go in a so, team that's going to exactly, put it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Take yeah. a step back by doing this. Leave in <clears> Barcelona, <throat> go to a team where you will have less pressure, where you will have time to... More presence, yeah. yeah. More presence, where you will have less uh, less pressure and, and, and you will have time, you know, to, to, to get back to your level. Porque he had... Three injuries, tres recaídas, and Oof. that's very bad for for, yeah. for a soccer mm-hmm. player. Yeah. You know, this a uh, couple of years before, uh, with le- less technology and everything, you had three uh, injuries like that. You out, oh, yeah. your career yeah. is finished. You know, yeah. Um, right. So yeah, I think he needs to take a step back. Spain, they have a good, a pretty good mixture of of, uh, of players, but I don't think they have level to 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 compete with with really strong uh european teams i think they're uh, no i think they do have the level but i think it's they, not going to be as easy as other years uh they've had better teams before imbalanced. Uh, it's imbalanced they have a uh, very good, strong midfield uh, pedri uh, you know uh, yeah the midfield? rodri yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Gavi. Sí. Gavi, what happened with Gavi? He wasn't. Uh, the, I, I was reading about it that he wasn't in for. Ay, he was only for the inferiores. Yeah, and yeah. he wasn't Sub, uh, for 21. yeah, so 21, yeah. and they had to change the shirt number or something yeah, like that. Did you hear about that? Yeah, with Barça. Okay, so you want to talk about it? So um, they uh, they uh, so Barça had you know this uh, problem as uh, the massa salarial mm -hmm. like uh, uh, with salaries. Nadie se ha dado cuenta. Noticia nueva. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. They had um, Gavi mm -hmm. uh, registered as. First team player. Yeah. Even though he, I mean, he was from, he was definitely from La Mastilla. It's not the cat. Okay, so Gavi, they had him. They had, was registered, they, he was registered uh, with the uh, uh, Barça first team. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, Barça con lo de las palancas y, y todo. They had a uh, provision of a forecast of uh, ingresos, of revenue mm -hmm. that they sent to La Liga. Y, um, given that Barca was disqualified from the Champions League, from the Europa League, it all, they're not getting to those numbers. They're not achieving those numbers they sent, you know, in the provisions to La Liga. So La Liga, they were like, okay, you're not getting these numbers, so La Massa Salarial is not as what you, you told that mm -hmm. would be. So they took, off the, they took off Gavi from the first team, so he's para, para diminuar La Massa Salarial, ah, you know, okay. to reduce uh, uh, the salary gap. He, um, Now he's registered with the, with the second team. By summer, if the Barca doesn't fix uh, this problem and doesn't sell like some players, mm -hmm. they won't be able to register him in the first team. Now he can still play. Yeah, he can still play in uh, the first, the first team, team. Yeah, but next year they have to. I mean, by the, by this summer they have to do to see what to do. Oh, okay. uh, interesting. Because he might even stay uh, registered. They can register him in the first team, and another team might buy him. So. I yeah, yeah he's, exactly. He's, he goes he's free. an interesting yeah, he player. Gets free, yeah, he gets free. So there is a great there player. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. There I, is I a really like problem there for yeah. Barcelona. <laughs> Sucks that he's in Barcelona, but no. I, hate ah, him. I don't on. even think he's a good player. I don't right think either. No, no, I, I, I like, I like Gavi. I no, he's he... a good player. Okay, okay, what does he have? No, he's got a lot of skill. Yeah, he has 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 a lot He was See, a, Pero Juega the also, like he plays a little bit as we talked last time, mm -hmm. dirty and that that you he, know. Yeah, it's, it's dirty but smart at the same time because he knew he could get away with it and he did. Yeah, like the same things we were saying that I, I don't know. It takes a smart player also He's to like play that Casemiro. way. No, uh, Casemiro is Casemiro me tira, Casemiro me tira. Me tira. Casemiro no juega sucio. But sometimes you will. Casemiro he plays like. Tough, yeah, Chuff, but, but he doesn't go and hit. No, nah, I'm, I'm not saying he's Casemiro. I'm not saying he's like Casemiro. Like yeah, he's child. Yeah, I think he's, he's, he's doing some like he's still young. Uh, he doesn't have that maturity yeah, yet, yeah, so that's, he that's... he he gets you know. Uh, like me, if I if I was playing against Gavi, <laughs> damn, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, well, coming up, uh, we should mention what are the upcoming games? Okay, so we have a, a, we games. have a big uh, big coming up games on the on the Premier League. For Premier, see. we have the big fixture yeah. is uh, Man, Man City, City Liverpool. Liverpool. Man City Liverpool again, our Holland. <laughs> Predictions, guys. <laughs> Jose Lu, what do you think? Uh, let's go with uh, two goals from Martinelli, right? No, amigo, no. No, no, 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 no. For Liverpool? Yeah. No. Close. Two one for Liverpool. I'm yeah. not gonna say no. Two, They one. play against Haaland. Well, okay, <laughs> hey, maybe is maybe a big Haaland fan. Yeah. You know? I like Haaland. Maybe they could do the same thing they did with Manu. I mean, not in history. Okay. In Premier. Uh, no, I say <laughs> two. I don't know. Three one for Manchester City. 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 Yeah, I'll go two zero Manchester City. 4-1, 4-1 Man City. Opa, and wow. you, said, you said Liverpool wins? Yeah, Liverpool Jose said Liverpool wins. Okay, so Jose, wait Liverpool. for that win, bro. Let's yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good win. luck. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, Arsenal Leeds United. That's uh, pretty, I think it's a pretty easy yeah. game for Arsenal. No, yeah. no, no. Martinelli 2-0 no, now. Ahora sí, Martinelli 2-0. Shout out to Martinelli, you know. Sí, si, Martinelli, yeah. we have a fan here. Yeah. <laughs> we have a fan of Martinelli here, man. Uh, okay. We have uh, Chelsea Aston Villa. 
El Dibu place, ¿no? En Aston Villa. Yeah. Sí. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll go for, for Aston Villa. No. And then we have Manu <laughs> going away uh, for an no, no away game for with Newcastle. Hell yeah, Newcastle, bro. Newcastle. I would Newcastle. say I would say it's gonna be a very interesting game to watch. I would say Newcastle. This motherfucking man, you can't know, bro. <laughs> I would say, I was. <laughs> He's thinking about it, he's not man. You. I, would say, I don't know. I would. I want Newcastle to win, but realistically, I think given how Man you've been playing these past games, I think two one for Man you. And then we have Monday Tottenham playing Everton. Uh, yes, yeah, that's for you. Yeah, man. Tottenham fan. Tottenham fan. Miami, right here. I go for Tottenham. I go for Tottenham. But uh, speaking of Tottenham, the whatever you, we talked about earlier, yeah, we yeah, have some. The coach. Conte. <laughs> Conte, Conte out, lo yeah. Yeah, so Conte crazy how crazy how things uh, uh, unveiled and and, yeah. and 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 you know uh, get connected. So Tottenham they sacked Conte, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last week Tuesday, Tuchel was uh, in advanced talks with Tottenham and was mm -hmm. planning a trip to to go to uh, London, London to mm -hmm. sign with uh, with uh, Tottenham. That's Tuesday, okay? In the meantime, Bayern. <laughs> gives an immediate and concrete yeah. offer. Termination. No, to no, they Tuchel, terminated. No. no, no, no. They sent the offer to, to Tuchel and they didn't even let Nagelsmann know. Nagelsmann. So this is how hap what, what, what happened. They sent the offer to Tuchel. Tuchel, he was really in so advanced talk with Tottenham. Mm -hmm. He gets the offer. Next day, he accepts. In the meantime, Nagelsmann, he doesn't know anything. Nagelsmann, yeah. they talked to him. They told him, okay, we're going to have um, a talk on Saturday. Uh, Nothing in the air, you know. On the morning, the um, the news leaks. Uh, Tuchel accepts offer from Bayer. Nagelsmann, he wakes up before going to the training center. He sees on he sees that oh on social God. media. That's crazy. Yeah. He arrives. Okay. They did him sad. dirty, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, he, I but think it's a crazy story. With but Nagelsmann, like, like, like he was doing, he was doing like great. Okay. Like he okay. was doing very. Like, so uh, I think I you mean, know this move from Bayern really represents the the good and everything that is good and bad about the the German culture. You know, mm -hmm. this like crazy authority. Nobody is is enough. Uh, uh, good enough. Good enough for them, and 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 uh, uh, really never. Taking and having that personal uh, side of relationships mm -hmm. when you know when when but, doing but you know what happened he, he <clears throat> uh, it happened almost like with Conte he was in a um, press conference mm -hmm. and then uh, previously like two days before that they had leaked out like the tactics of Bayern and yeah, all that yeah he comes out and saying oh you know I can't believe you know yeah. this information is getting out we have somebody within you know in a club as a I mean pretty much like a rat. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, like the yeah. detailed de tactics of the details, yeah, yeah. defensive and attacking tactics, and 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 uh, there was how did, how did that got leaked out? There were there were rumors. That's what he was saying. I mean, uh, there you were know, there's somebody within a club that really doesn't you know favor Bayern. So yeah. I think we have a rat within the club. So it's ah. like you know. So I mean, you gotta say it out. You know, maybe yeah. like you know, what he's saying it's just the culture itself is like you know you go against the club. Exactly. You, you and they, they try Especially to get you Bayern. Out. And yeah. the thing so. Uh, with Nagelsmann, there was a couple of, of issues that kind of uh, combinated and made that Bayern sacked him in this way. First is um, they weren't happy, very happy with him uh, in terms of results. They were thinking he's, he's really inconsistent and mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's, um, he's second in the Bundesliga. Yeah, only two points against, uh, I mean, to Borussia. But, you know, he's been at the club 19 months last year. The, that uh, elimination from the Champions League against mm -hmm. Villarreal really, really uh, uh, kind of uh, got got the board of director at Bayern mad. Mm -hmm. So this year they weren't super happy. They were thinking he's um, incons inconsistent, at, you know, in terms <laughs> of, of uh, results. Uh, they also were fine. They also think <laughs> that he has a la he's lacking leadership right, within right. the the, um, the team. Uh, Especially with um, the big names at the club, the the uh, the big players, you know, we're talking Sané. They, he's not even putting him in. Yeah. Uh, there is some players performing so well, Coman <coughs> and uh, uh, um, uh, um, Jamal Maisala, Tabien, uh, Musiala, and he, Musiala, Musiala. Yeah, and he puts them on the bench to uh, he puts them on the bench saying, oh, they need to, um, you know, to to recover. They need some more time to rest. Um, and this and also he, you know, his his he went a little bit against the um, the big heads in Bayern, either the big uh, ex players, mm -hmm. former players, or uh, the president and 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 you know uh, 
uh, Oliver Kahn, Wahid Salilovic, and, and, and uh, um, Mateus Tabien. Yeah, so, messing with waters he shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. exactly. So, but, but even yeah. though he's he's in advanced talks now with Tottenham, so they yeah. might. They might and yeah. I think you know he's he's he yeah. was, he's a big fan, uh, Bayern fan. And I guess man, he was always yeah. a big Bayern fan. He's from uh, he's from uh, you know mm-hmm. Bavaria, and and, and uh, he's ha- he has this he has this uh, uh, Bavarian uh, character, you know, like uh, mm-hmm. and, and and personality that really kind of conflicted with with uh, Bayern and 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 their, the side, their strategy yeah. and yeah, and this what happened. <coughs> Well, you think they made a mistake? Um, they made a mistake. I think. Uh, no, so I mean, the also, change is natural. I mean, but so I mean, also what happened? At, why did, what, where why you're happened? at in the season? Yeah, right yeah now okay, you gotta, I will tell you why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where you're at in the season, happened. maybe you know. So why they out. had to make a decision right now? What, they were waiting in Bayern. They were thinking to give Nagelsmann uh, uh, until the end of the season okay. and take a decision as for next season. Yeah, yeah, that, that was. But a, mm-hmm. they saw that Tuchel was in a super advanced talk with Tottenham. And mm-hmm. they saw that Real Madrid might have some interest in signing Tuchel as well this season if things goes bad with Ancelotti. So they, it was now or never. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they just they didn't want to miss on Tuchel. Pull the trigger on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But so that, is it a mistake? If it's a mistake, I, I guess we'll Tuchel, see. <laughs> I think Tuchel as, as a coach is, is definitely uh, has proven that. more things than Nagelsmann. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Nagelsmann, he had... Um, you know, I think Nagelsmann, his biggest mistake at Bayern, he's not taking advantage of some uh, big players they brought and some are not uh, mm-hmm. uh, making those players reach their full potential, you know, within the team. Upamecano, they brought him, the French uh, mm-hmm. defender, he's, uh, he was an amazing level before they brought him and uh, he was struggling uh, the team. Sané, they brought him from Liverpool, he was one of the pillars of the, of the, yeah. of the historical Liverpool. And he he the, he's not even playing. So it's a mix of um you know it's a it's it's a mix of things. And I think they did a good choice. A good move. You yeah. Could good wait move from Bayern. Good could, move. Good move. I think so. I mean, I wouldn't have done it at this time of the season. I, I yeah. agree with you, Joselu, but um, I Sometimes think it's... Sometimes it's now or never. I it's think now it's or never, but I think, they, yeah, got, I think I they, wanted so. to, they wanted to sacrifice or they mm-hmm. bet on the rest of the season to secure next season. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so <laughs> that okay was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what Bayern is yeah. going to do. They're going to run. <laughs> you know. Jump. <laughs> yeah, so um, who, who do you play uh, champions? Man City. Is it Man City? Oh. See, yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll <laughs> see in the next few games, you know, if yeah, it was a good yeah. choice or not. And, well, to wrap it up, guys, mm-hmm. um, we are going to start having some offers, but later on in the show, once we hit, what was that? 1,000 1, sub- subscribers. Okay, 1, guys, so once we hit so 1,000 subscribers, subscribe. we got to start dropping the offers, okay? Dropping the offers. Come on, soon. make it happen. We on- so right, those offers, guys, no. <laughs> keep, keep liking, keep hitting keep that yeah, like. Keep yeah, keep liking. Let us know in the comments. What do you think? Uh, Tell us what you want to talk about as well, you know? We, yeah, what's you your favorite team? What's your favorite team? Soon we have, guys, soon we'll have some crazy content. Soccer tournaments in Miami sponsored by Pichichi. Um, uh, beside the offers, as we said, once we hit 1,000 subscriber, um, we have some really exciting things coming up. So, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, so so hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you guys yeah, next yeah. week. See you next week.